and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually really excited and nervous for today's video because I'm going to be testing out the Mark Hill um, pick and mix range, well just one of them for now. So yeah, I've picked up the wand handle. This was actually, I actually really love the idea of this. So basically you buy the handle and then you get different attachments depending on how you want your hair. So you can get like big barrels for curling your hair. You get this like bobbled one which is almost like a guided curler you get the one i'm going to be doing today which is the corkscrew curl which is why i'm nervous because i have no idea if this hairstyle is going to suit me and i've never had my hair like this before but i thought you only live once you've got to try these things so i thought i'm just gonna go for it but yeah i really love the idea that you can get different attachments it's not too expensive so you can like slowly build up the range of these that you have so this was for 14.99 sorry and um which i don't think is too bad and then this attachment was 14.99 um i think all of them are the same price so if i really like this and i want to get another one then i can just like slowly build it up which is what i really like the idea of i don't think i've ever used any um mark hill hair electricals before i've used some of their hair products but definitely none of their styling um electricals so yeah i'm really excited to give this a go but i am scared because look how i mean amazing sabrina looks here oh so annoying because this box is like super reflective so you can just see my ring light in it but yeah she looks incredible <laughs> i really don't know if it's going to suit me it's going to be weird so let's get started. I also have a feeling that it's going to take me forever to curl my hair with this because I've got a lot of hair and it's very thick. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. We could be sat here for some time. Expect to uh, see quite a lot of this fast forwarded. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly brush my hair through. I also um, haven't done it with fresh hair so I'm on my third day of um, having washed my hair. I figured having a bit of texture to my hair would probably help me hold this a bit better. Um, if I had freshly washed hair, it would be quite shiny and si slippery and I don't think it would hold the curl as well. So, let's get it out. Oh, that's good. Okay, so in here. Also, another thing. When you buy this, you get 25% off of Misguided which is pretty cool they like give you a little code so that's a nice idea as well as the whatchamacallit handle that's the word i was looking for you also get these like little heat gloves i'm fully aware they don't really look like gloves but they're just so that you you put them on like this and you um don't burn yourself which is wonderful because i really don't want to be doing that so you get two of those one for each hand this is the handle in your um usual mark kill shades like the ombre of the orange going into the pink i like it i think it's cute it's pretty this is the little attachment it's just like this oh it's gonna be such tight curls i usually when i curl my hair go for like really big loose waves that's the kind of look i go for i never really have a tight curl so to go to like corkscrew curling it's pretty intense but yeah this is just like the end of it literally looks like a light bulb and i'm pretty sure it just clips in as easy as that and your attachment is on you can then it's like got an unlock so you have to make sure it's on the unlock when you um put it in and then you twist it to the lock and it keeps your attachment nice and secure i don't really know how thick like how thick a section so yeah i think i'm gonna do it like that let's get curling right i'm just gonna switch it on the other thing i like about this is it's got like a swivel wire so it doesn't pull it means it's like you've got more maneuverability which i think is a very good idea because i quite often get tangled in my straightener cable um and this just helps prevent that it's really good and it like obviously helps you move around your head i'm literally just gonna section a tiny bit of my hair point it downwards and curl it away from my face and i hold it on there for about 10 seconds <gasps> God, how 
funny. So I'm going to grab my next section. I think I'm going to do this one a little bit thinner actually. That was quite a thick section. So again, just going to wrap it round and curl it away from my face. And my previous curl gave me a little bit of a fish hook. So I'm just going to wrap it round as much as I can. Because I don't want those little fish hooks on the end. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm just going to do this little bit. Oh, she says. Oh my god, like that curled that already and I didn't even hold it in place. That's mental. Oh my god. Oh, this is so funny. Right, I'm just going to go to this bottom bit again and like curl it a little bit more because... I don't want it to have like a funny little flick at the end. That's better. Same here. <laughs> oh, I love this. Right. Now moving on to the other side. Again, I'm going to point it down. Takes a bit of getting used to like the angles to do it, I think, but I will get there. It's also hard because I'm trying to stay in the camera, but my mirror is like behind the camera, so I can't fully see what I'm doing. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to point it upwards when I'm doing it this way. So that's a lot easier to control. My goodness. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you are nowhere. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. Yeah, I hold it there for about eight to ten seconds when I do this. If it gets caught, I just like pull it out and then leave it. I'm not gonna comb it through because then it'll go like super afro y. Oh, yeah, this looks so weird, obviously, because I'm just on like one layer. So I'm gonna carry on. This is probably where I'll speed it up a bit for now just so you don't get fed up with watching me do the same thing and then I will be back for the last layer
points in blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were the one for me That's why I give you everything Out you cross by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me We definitely have to be patient when doing this because it does take a long time. However, I'm loving the actual curler. Like, it's really good, really easy to use, gets hot really quickly, and definitely holds the curl. So I'm on to like my last section now. I figured I'd come back and do that with you guys. I'm just gonna do this little back bit first and then we can do the front section. I still don't know how I feel about it yet. I think I'm not gonna know until it's all fully done. <laughs> I do love how volumized it makes my hair though, I have to say. Really excited to see. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I Burnt my finger, that's typical, isn't it? <laughs> and we're done, right. Oh, it looks crazy at the moment, give me a minute. Oh my god, this is so weird. Right, I'm gonna like... Oh, it's gone weird here, because it's not like curled right to the root, so I think I'm gonna just go over these little bits so it is curled right to the root, like the rest of my hair. So I have played around with it for a bit, and kind of tip my head upside down, got a bit of volume, and I've realised that curling it with a parting, I think you see me guys in a bit, um, isn't that great. I'm better to just like curl it all just randomly and then leave it. Because if I have like my parting, it looks a bit weird and a bit flat here. Whereas when I like flip this over so I've got a bit more volume in the row, it looks way better. But I actually really like it. I thought I was going to hate it and thought I looked like a poodle. Um, but it's actually growing on me the more I look at it. So yeah, that was like quite fun to try out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you could smash the thumbs up button as always. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.